hey guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and share this video makeup booking info is always linked in the bio of my videos and also the link to my website so don't forget to shop so I'm wearing very minimal makeup right now I don't know if you can tell but I've been getting this a lot um because I wear makeup all the time and I do makeup on clients about um, the setting powder by Sacha Buttercup because I use both of them and um, yeah people tend to have the stereotype about girls of color and these two setting powders so let's let's get into them well, since I'm wearing very minimal makeup I have concealer under both my eyes so I'm going to show you guys how I use each of these setting powders and I do use both of them and lately I've been using the translucent powder which is the white one more than the banana which is the yellow one so I think the fear of people is that you can't use the translucent on girls of color that is not true to be honest the translucent is actually the best one that you can have especially if you are a makeup artist and you want some powder um, part of your kit that you can use on any skin type or any skin tone the translucent one is the better one to go because you literally can use this on any skin tone I have no product on my face except the concealer so I'm gonna show you the translucent on the right side of my face and I'm just going to go under my eyes with my Real Techniques um, brush and make sure my concealer is evenly blended and another reason why I feel like people are talking about how much flashback they get with these powders and whatnot and they're afraid of getting flashback is because they bake I personally do not bake because I'm already a girl of color and I want to avoid the ashy look that the powder may leave behind and on top of the other powders that you're already using so this is why I don't bake what I do is tap my brush in here and I use the cover to dust off any excess and I apply that right under my eye and you see you're not applying a boatload of powder you're just applying as needed I'm gonna dip it again dust it off and press So you're applying powder as needed. I'm setting my under eye. I'm not baking. I'm setting. So you can barely see that I've applied any powder, but you can tell the difference because this side of my face is oily and this side is not. So you can tell the difference. So I'm about to repeat the same steps over on this side. So what I'm going to do is use a more firm brush and go up under my eye. Make sure my concealer is laying properly. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you that I'm using a different brush. I'm not using the same brush, so you're not going to feel like there's excess of the other powder on there. I'm using a clean, clean brush. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush, by the way. And this is the banana powder. You could tell it's yellow. And I'm going to open that. So here's the powder on my brush. I'm going to tap the excess into the cover and apply that onto my under eye. So as you can see now, I've set both sides of my face this side with the banana powder and this side with the setting powder so 
you can tell that there's powder on my face now because that's all there is so I'm going to take a buffing brush and blend out the rest of my powder so just like that blend that into your skin And even without applying any other sprays, any other powder onto your face, because you know you might want to spray some rose water, whatever water onto your face to take away the ashiness that the powder may leave behind. But to avoid like all of that ashy look, don't bake. Don't bake. Because you can tell just by dusting off the powder and blending it into my skin that you can't tell the difference both sides are set so girls of color you can use either one of these powders to set your face to set your concealer when you you're doing your makeup it doesn't matter what matters is how much powder you probably use and if you baked that's what's gonna cause the ashy and flashback the ashy look in the flashback that's what's gonna cause it i just sprayed my face with some smashbox primer water to take away from the powdery look and my face looks just as i would using just one powder or that i'm comparing the two and there's no big difference to it so i'm just gonna use some um highlighter you know because we have a look even with no foundation just concealer and one more thing you would actually need to walk out the door is pop on some lip gloss and I'm just gonna be using the NYX butter gloss and this is Madeline and just a little bit of that and you're ready to go and you have a look so guys don't forget to like subscribe and share comment below if you have anything that you want to tell me comment below and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you are gonna get notified when I post a video and look at my hair though my hair's been holding up so well i am like officially um three almost four weeks post relaxer and look at my even my edges like my hair is doing good so thank you guys and see you in my next video and i hope you guys enjoyed my little setting powder 101